rotates, but the only real indication we get is when the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, but we are completely unaware that we are traveling to the east at hundreds of miles per hour. At the equator, we travel about 1,000 miles per hour, but just 30 degrees north of the equator, the earth slows to 880 miles per hour. Why? Because we are getting closer to the earth's axis of rotation. The conservation of angular momentum states that mass times radius times velocity has to be constant. Imagine there's a particle at 30 degrees north of the equator. As the particle moves north, the rotational speed of the earth will decrease. But since the radius is also decreasing when you move north, in order to keep the angular momentum the same, the angular velocity has to increase. This phenomenon is what causes the Coriolis effect. Imagine you're throwing a ball with someone on a merry-go-round. When the merry-go-round is not moving, the ball travels in a straight path. When it is moving and you throw the ball, it still travels in a straight path. However, the catcher is moving, so the ball misses them. In the eyes of the thrower, the ball curves to the right. It is the same for whoever is throwing it. The farther you try to throw the ball on the moving merry-go-round, the farther the deflection appears. In the people's reference frame, the ball seems to be deflected, but it is really traveling in a straight path. We went to Cuesta County Park to try out the Coriolis effect for ourselves. We hopped on the merry-go-round and took videos at two different viewpoints, one within the rotating viewpoint and one from the viewpoint above to track the ball's path. We both sat on the spinning merry-go-round to show what the ball does from the rotating point of view. As you can see here, the ball is rolled forward in a straight path. In the rotating viewpoint, it appears that the ball's path is curved. From the viewpoint above, the ball travels in a straight path. This is because once the ball is released, it is independent from the rotating merry-go-round and continues moving straight while everything else rotates around it. The Coriolis force causes objects to deflect to the right of their intended path in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. This is why hurricanes circulate counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere. The Coriolis effect only affects the direction of an object, not its speed. Since the amount of deflection is proportional to the speed, the faster an object travels, the more deflection occurs. So at a small scale, the Coriolis effect is negligible. A ball released by a pitcher only deflects at about 0.9 millimeters. But let's say for a rocket traveling at a few thousand miles per hour, the deflection is much greater.